One thing Toyota has always been known for is off-road capability, especially in their smaller trucks like the 80s and 90s Toyota pickups, the Tacomas, 4Runners, but never the Tundra. Toyota only recently advertised the Tundra as a proper off-road pickup truck in the last generation in the later years with the TRD Pro. Toyota has redesigned the Tundra all new for 2023 and today I'm back at Flagpole Knob off-road trail to take this thing on the trail and see how it does. Let's get on going. So this Tundra in particular is a 2023 Tundra TRD Pro in magnetic gray metallic. It is a good looking color, but like I've said before, I'm not much of a gray car guy. When I heard that I was supposed to be getting one of these, I thought it would be solar octane, but this is still cool that I have a Tundra to take off road anyway. This one being a TRD Pro puts it right at the top end of the Tundra spectrum, giving it an MSRP of about $70,000. This one with a few little accessories brings the MSRP to $72,000. But with the TRD Pro trim, most importantly, you get a lot of off road tech. You get crawl control, multi-terrain select, hill descent control. This one has a rear locking differential, which is new for the Tundra. Damn it. You also get off-road suspension from Fox Racing, Falcon Wild Peak all-terrain tires, which should be pretty grippy today. And this one has a TRD exhaust on it. So before we get into the nitty gritty of the trail, there are a few things that we need to address. First of all, because this is a full-size truck, and we're taking it off-road, I would note that this thing is about 81 inches wide without the mirrors. That's when you fold the mirrors in. That's pretty wide, but that's about average for these big trucks. Another issue that I have, and I was going to sugarcoat it, but there's no sugarcoating it, you have no fr front recovery points on a TRD Pro. You do have the TRD skid plate, and you know, you can see the sway bars down there, but no front recovery. There is rear recovery because it has a hitch, a little bit disappointing in terms of recovery for their flagship off-roader. In addition to some of the other TRD Pro goodies, we have a 360 view camera, which will be very useful because of how flat and long this hood is, especially when you're sitting in it. And also the TRD Pro light bar, which is very bright, but I don't know if we'll need that today. So welcome. This is our first obstacle at Flagpole, the first actual one. I did this with the pilot and when I first came down here, I was actually pretty intimidated, but the level of uh, confidence has significantly increased with this. So let's go down this uh, gorge. <laughs> so what's nice because the front end of this thing is so tall, well, so long, is the 360 cam. I think I'm gonna drop now. Let's see, with the pilot, it was much scarier. <laughs> wow. It just dominates. But seriously, those 360, this 360 cam is so useful. And it is so nice because this thing is so big. You can see I'm flexing a bit. Yeah. Okay. We're dropping the descent. Hee <laughs> hee! Just slowly. I have this little rock face on my right. It's really articulating now. This is what I wanted. Yeah. It's really articulating. You can hear it stretch. I'm teetering a little bit. But even though this thing is teetering, it still feels so planted. I guess it's because it's so wide and then it has such articulation. This does have hill descent control. I think I'll try that. Okay. So, wow. I just activated it. All I have to do is steer. It's doing all the braking on its own. I'm at the slowest level because this the camera really doesn't do it justice, but this is a pretty damn steep hill. This is pretty slow, but I don't mind it. It's better going slow than 
quick, especially down quite the hill like this. But it is really impressive. The old downhill assist control in these Toyotas used to be extremely loud. It is just me on the brake. The truck really does a great job because it's extremely smooth at modulating pressure. But thankfully, the descent gets a little bit less treacherous until we go back up. Unlike normal trims of the Tundra, the TRD Pro only comes with one engine option. It still uses the same V6 from all the others, but they've boosted it to the max. <laughs> Under the hood of these is the iForce Max powertrain, the same powertrain that you'll find in the new Toyota Sequoia. It's a 3.5 liter twin turbocharged and port and direct injected V6 paired to a hybrid system. And the electric motor is actually sandwiched between the engine and the new 10 speed automatic transmission. In this application, just like the Sequoia, it makes 437 horsepower and 583 pound feet of torque. Toyota claims that this engine not only makes more power than the 5.7, which is it does, they claim 18 in the city and 20 on the highway with a combined rating of 19. I've been getting 15 MPG even while trying to get decent mileage. That's just been 15 MPG combined. On the highway, you may, may maybe see 18, 19, but kind of a bummer. And like I said, this engine is paired to a 10 speed automatic transmission, which is new and it is quite the improvement. This also uses a part-time four wheel drive system. And because it's a TRD Pro, you get a rear locking differential. You get a track, multi-terrain select, crawl control, a whole slew of off-road technology for the price of $70,000. <laughs> so the camera doesn't do justice, but it is steep, but not like, oh my God, terrifying steep. Huh. It does it. There we go. That's why you have a bash plate and a lot of suspension travel. Turn the wheel straight. So honestly, I will say, <laughs> my water just spilled. These cameras, they are helpful quality wise. They're not that stellar, but we drop, continue to drop. That clearance is fantastic. So now I can snake. This thing is insane. <laughs> I'll straighten out. There's the rock. Woo -hoo. That is funny. Yeah, the cameras are very useful, but I just wish that the quality, at least for the side mirror cameras, was a little bit better. Because especially when you're in the rocks like this, it is very uh, grainy. So it's hard to tell where you're about to drop. But this thing is so capable anyway. <laughs> We're not doing any super splashes because I don't know how many rocks are underneath this, but we'll go a little bit. This one, I'm gonna take a straight on approach because this thing is pretty long, pretty wide and I'm gonna have to solely rely on cameras. I do know the line that I wanna take. Okay. Okay, nice. That's all I needed. Straighten out. We slowly drop. Oh, okay. Nice. I just wasn't sure. Yeah. Yeah, picture. Okay, so we continue the descend. It did exactly what I wanted it to do. I think those are my tips. Okay, continue down. We found more water. Thankfully, none of this is like mud underneath. It's all rock. 
but wading water in this so cool it just goes over anything and everything this thing even this feels pretty big the cameras do help a lot the steering is very nimble very quick so it makes it feel agile but my god it's tight in some of these areas it like you really have to make sure and accept pinstripes so this is quite the descent but because of the 360 camera because i really cannot see jack right now we're going here I'm gonna go a little bit driver keep going that's the exhaust hard driver hard driver driver hard driver hard yep okay yep you got it you're gonna you're gonna hit that just so you know you're gonna hit your rear bumper that's okay like hard or just like right. a tap good and slow you're, you're on the edge you're gonna come down any second now okay nice Seriously, right? So in the past with their TRD Pro models, Toyota has tended to under tire their trucks and the 4Runner. Well, the 4Runner is a truck to me, but this one is actually running on some decent all-terrain tires. They're Falcon Wild Peak AT3Ws, one of my favorite tires that are on the market right now. On this, they're 285-65R18s, and of course, the Raptor on TRD Pro specific 18-inch alloy wheels, which look better in this mud color than they do in black because you can't see what they look like in black. So the Tundra is long, especially for being an off-roader in town and you know for actually being useful that's another story but this has a 145 inch wheelbase that's pretty long so you have to keep in mind to not take this on really tight trails also approach angle is 26 degrees and departure angle is 24 degrees oh my god you have you guys i'm telling the viewers the msrp of this one i'm not one that reads the window sticker to you all the MSRP of this one, 69420. I mean, I mean, not exactly this one. The MSRP of a base TRD Pro Tundra, $69,420. The TRD Pro Tundra only comes in this cab and bed configuration. The Crew Max with the five and a half foot bed, it's better for off-roading. I wouldn't want the six and a half foot bed on a trail, but in terms of the whole bed, Toyota makes it pretty easy to get into the bed. You can actually push and hold the button on the key fob to drop the tailgate. Of course, you can drop it like this and it's actually damped, and you can use one finger to close the tailgate. That's different from new tr well, old trucks. And then you can also drop the tailgate with that button only on the driver's side. Makes it very useful. Whoa, this one. This one also has the optional bed extender, which it rattles a lot when you're on the trail. It's uh, an accessory I probably wouldn't have on mine, but I do see why it's useful. There's also a bunch of tie downs in the bed. This one, I love that it has LED lights all over. There's a camera that you can see from the infotainment screen. You can look at what's in the bed. There's all kinds of dickery doos in this thing. I also appreciate that Toyota makes the bumpers themselves modular, so you can actually replace this piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece independently from each other. So if you are off-roading and you do mess up this quarter panel on your bumper, it's not the end of the world. So this obstacle over here is what tripped me up with the Pilot Trail Sport. Now I'm in a completely different truck, completely different vehicle. The line I tried to take was up here, which didn't really end well because it wasn't tall enough. But the line that I should take have passenger here, driver here, crawl right up, piece of cake. Okay, we're gonna go up. That's crazy.
That's crazy. That's crazy, guy. I'm not even touching the gas. I just wanted to show you how the traction control system works. It works so flawlessly and just like, well, A-Track. And unlike older systems, it works so flawlessly. It's extremely quiet. With the Pilot, because the lack of approach and departure angle and also the lack of ground clearance, the all-wheel drive system would have done it though. It wasn't able to do this obstacle. So we will see if the Tundra will do it. I think it will if I keep my driver's side on that and my passenger side up here. Once again, I'm gonna be using the 360 camera, but also my eyes as well. How's my bumper? Good. Yep. So we go up. I've not even used the rear locker yet. Good Lord. Good Lord. Crazy. So this is an 08 GX 470. I just reviewed one of these. Look at that. We're gonna see a track work. Oh, let's see. Wow, it's been challenged. If you go straight, I just do driver. Yep, straight up. That's what you have to do. That's crazy. I have to say, this thing really impressed me, especially because of its size. I mean, it has a rear locker, it has a dual range transfer case, so I already knew that it would be pretty capable, but in places that I thought it would scrape or rub or scuff, it just completely annihilated this trail. Again, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I hope you enjoyed this off-road review and this adventure with this new Tundra today, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, peeps.